What is up YouTube Chaz here and today I'm here with Jonas. Jonas, you went first place with which deck today? Well, we played Fire Kings with the new Snake Eyes Ooh. and the Princess. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, get ready for these cards. They are broken. Yep, yep. All right, let's check it out. Let's go straight into it. Uh, so for the Fire King, only one Ponyx. You only need one now. Triple Kirin, because this is the best card to draw. Like, it's broken and you need multiples. Uh, only one Garunix and one Elephant. I never missed them today because the deck is so powerful. You rarely go into the grind game where you would need multiples. You can consider to play two, but uh, I think that's enough. I yes, uh, still played one Sanctuary and I decided to play double Island because when you draw the Island you still have one in deck for the Sanctuary. But you could even here decide to cut this one down to one. Or even cut the Sanctuary entirely. It's both possible, but uh, I like this ratio. Um, then I played the Skyburn. This was actually pretty good. There's also the circle that you can play. You can play both, you can play only one of them. Uh, but this card was actually okay today. I activated like twice. Uh, then that was it for the Vikings. Next engine wanted with the original symbol. Oof, pretty. Oof, yeah, pretty like, <laughs> It's actually weird because even if you start wanted, you rarely need to set this off the witch because uh, you somehow already have Populus access and Populus searches this. Mm. Um, yeah, but uh, these cards are still good. If you draw wanted, you still get to draw one card of the graveyard effect most of the time. Yep. Then triple bonfire. Well, it's just Rota that searches. <laughs> uh, it's actually called Poplar. <laughs> <laughs> um, it just searches this, but this gets a special summon it. It gets to search on summon. It's pretty insane. Um, yeah, it goes to spell trap. Like, I don't know how this card got printed. Mm. Uh, then triple ash, best normal summon. Basically, on summon effect, it's the same as bonfire. You just add poplar. You get, a, yeah, you can pop off pretty hard. You can even consider to search ash with the bonfire, but that plays really hard into draw and block bird. Mm. Um, then also, if you just normal summon ash and you get drawed on the search of poplar, so like chink one poplar, chink two draw, you still can put. Uh, quite a good end board with like Appaloosa free material. And if you want to go even harder, you need the Snake Eye Oak. Uh, it's probably worth to consider playing that because you then can end on the Umbla Whale, Princess, the Snake Eye Dragon, and IP in the spell trap zone. Like that gets even crazier. Probably you need to play that. Yeah. Yeah, and this is just the special of the hatch. That's it for the Snake Eye engine. Then one more consistency card, one for one. Uh, it's a cool card, but you probably don't even have to play it. I did not brick once today. The stick is so consistent. Uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, then I decided to main deck these um, just to test them. Like they were actually really good. If you don't main deck these, you definitely should side deck these. You can search this and you can search this as well. Yeah. Um, you can search this with Poplar. Um, yeah, this card is actually really good. Uh, yeah. In the mirror match, they often would want to end up on Apollosa, but this can just put the Apollosa away. Like, it's really good. Or also mm -hmm. this can tribute stuff. Like this won me games today. Also this was really good. Um, one of called by, I think this is a format where you have to play this. Get rid of shifter, get rid of draw. Sadly you can only play one, whatever. Uh, you may want even to consider play cross out because if you get to play, you win basically. Mm. Uh, then triple draw. I think you have to play this in this format. It's really strong. Same for impermanence, hand trap or board breaker. This stops so, so much. Mm. Yeah, it's really good. Uh, then for other knowledge that you don't have to play, in my opinion, but I just decided to play a solid hand trap lineup today. Um, Valor and Ash. Ash can be really bad in the mirror match because they get reborn with uh, Hita. Maybe if people continue to play this, I might even consider playing Baron the Fleur and the extra deck mm. because you can reborn with Hita and then with which or Fenrir are going to it, if you decide to play Fenrir as well. Yeah, that's it for the main deck, 40 cards. Pretty clean. clean. Um, new card in the extra deck. Again, yeah. I don't know how this card got printed. Like, even without the graveyard effect, this card would be good. It's crazy. Then, Umbla Whale, you end on this. Like, usually you can just put this in the extra monster zone and this in graveyard, and yeah, it's pretty strong. Then Link Rebo, you need this uh, when you when you yeah when you start to play. Uh, it's really good that you just have a Link One that you can go into. 
uh, SP, IP. Yeah. They decided to play only one SP. Um, main reason for that is I rarely use two, and the deck is pretty tight. Like you can play two, but you have to not play other things instead. Uh, then Sunlight Wolf, I still like this card. Yeah, yeah. You can add back fire monsters. Yeah. Uh, Appaloosa, you can go into this as, yeah, with IP or also if then you get rolled. It negates monsters. Mm -hmm. yeah. it's, it's just a bit weird uh, versus the Wanted Witch. Like when they start with the Abelster uh, on summon, if, like if you have four materials, you cannot really negate it, otherwise they just go battle phase and put it away, uh, attack over it. Mm. Uh, if you don't negate it, they can just set the snake a spell that I showed before yeah. and just activate it and put it in the spell trap zone. So basically one witch out the Apollosa, even with four material. Mm. Uh, that's crazy. Then the one exists, I think you still have to play this. It's really good, pops the board. Also, if you have to continue on field, it's still an interrupt. Then the double charmers. I still think you need to play this. If you ever want to cut one, it's dark over Hita, because mm. fire decks will be everywhere. Um, I decided to play Selene Access Code, but this might just as well be Celantis and the uh, Salaman Great guy, because mm. there's that sick combo with uh, you go into the Salaman Great over, you, like, you can even use Princess to go into it, then Celantis, banish everything, put everything back, and the Princess uh, triggers because something was special, something to bonus field, mm. you can put everything in at heck or even defense if you have to, then pop something back, and the Salaman Great gets back with like almost 6k attack. Yeah. yeah, but I decided to play these today. I think it's either this or the Salaman Great Celantis package. Uh, then three cards that you don't have to play, but uh, like I actually like these two really today. Like I use them like three to four times each. Um, this is good against bad players, but also against end boards like Apollosa or stuff, uh, where they have to play something where where they this can point to. Uh, the Nightmare Phoenix is really nice. I drew cards with the Link Rebo. Pop cards, it's nice, it's fire, you can pop it with the field spell as well. And I never summoned heat soul today. Like there's this cool combo with the Sunlight Wolf, Link or Evo at back, uh, draw two cards. It's good, but if you go for this, you don't go for the princess. Mm. Yeah, probably this is gonna be cut this for sure. Yeah, um, that's it for the extra deck. There's multiple cards you can play, like there was no Typhoon, no Baron de Fleur. Mm. There are so many cards that you probably would want to fit in the extra deck. Mm. But you only have 15 spaces. Maybe Konami should think about increasing the size of the extra deck. I don't know about that, but yeah. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, we're going to side deck. Free Cosmics. I think this card is mandatory in this format. This card is too good against almost every matchup. Uh, 3D Decro. I like this card. It's good in multiple matchups, but you don't have to play it. But yeah, I just like it. Uh, if we're going first. Undispel. I never used it today, but this card should, should still be banned. Um, free Ghost Spell. It's uh, good versus matchups. You can still use it on the Wanted, but it's a lot worse now with Populous uh, release. Um, but versus Labyrinth, if you want. like, You could probably even cut this because it's overkill against Labyrinth. And then the Kirin should be for time. This should be the scatter shot, but I still did not have one. No, okay. <laughs> and uh, I decided to play the one berry statue. Like I summoned it once today. Like probably most decks you're gonna face are fire decks, but if you play against something that is not fire, you can side in these two. Um, you can foolish this with the Kirin, uh, just reborn it with the princess, or you if you draw it, you can just discard it. Uh, you can pop it with the field spell. It's okay, and mm. yeah, it's an unfair card. Yeah. yeah, that's it for the cards. New cards. It's fun, but they're really really OP. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Jonas, thank you so much for the deck profile. Do you want to do any shout outs? Um, shout outs to Tepe, because he lent me some cards to play today, like Bonfires, Populus, Princess. I did not have them yet. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, and shout outs to the team. Nice. Jonas, thank you so much, and have a nice evening. Bye. Bye bye.